Hello and welcome to another edition of Tom's Toolbox. I'm your host, Tom Clark, and today I'm going to show you some very important aspects of a well-rounded lockout tagout program. Now, lockout tagout procedures are put into place at a facility to keep energy sources from activating while maintenance is being performed. These procedures prevent worker injury or death, and it is of the utmost importance to follow them. Otherwise, you wouldn't see things like do not operate, do not operate, do not operate locked out, do not remove. It's kind of right there in front of you, kids. Uh, Master Lock and American Lock are one company, and when it comes to aluminum safety locks, they have thousands of options to help any plant comply with the 1910.147 lockout tagout regulation. Now, locks are available in a variety of colors and shackle lengths and all keying options, lock engraving, and key stamping. These locks help workers recognize that a piece of machinery is being worked on and alerts them not to turn on the power source. For example, this one right here. This is like, do not operate, that's just a key, but you know, there's a box right there. Danger, do not operate. Having color-coded safety locks is a very popular option in the workplace. You see, color coding complies with the OSHA requirement for standardization. Locks that are clearly differentiated from other devices by color, shape, or size. Now, each lock that is in place must have the worker's name on the lock or on a tag so that other workers know who was working on the machinery. For example, this lock right here. I know Tom McElroy locked that. I'm not going to touch it. Only Tom can do that. Now, identification indicates the authorized employee that applied the device. In this case, Tom McElroy. Uh, the lock may only be removed by that specific worker. Master lock locks can be laser engraved with the worker's name, much like that one right there, meeting the identification requirement and helps to keep everyone at the plant accountable. Master lock will also chart the keys for any locks made for any plant. They keep a running electronic chart of what locks were produced for for a specific plant and what the locks were keyed to. This prevents key duplication from occurring in future orders and is the most important part of any lockout tagout program. Keep that in mind. Lockout, tag out. Don't touch it. That about does it for this edition of Tom's Toolbox. Now, as you notice, I didn't have any PPE on today, but I did have it right here just in case as we were just talking about the lockout, tag out procedures. And you can check out other videos, not just this one. Just go to our website, mihowto.com, and you'll find me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thanks for watching today.